you guys ready for a little surgery, a little dissection here? So we'll walk you through, this is that high pressure hose, right, connected right here, was going into the throttle. So I've got a lot of boost build up, and all of a sudden I close that throttle, it's got nowhere to go except my bypass. So I can bypass and put it right back through that turbo, right through the compressor, but I've got to get past this valve. Well, not a big deal, because over here I can put a vacuum line, and when I close the throttle on the back side, it's going to be a lot of vacuum. That's going to actuate this valve. Let me show you how it works. So pressure here, there's my valve. I've got to get past that guy. Now what's keeping that thing closed, if I cut it open here, boom, this spring is sitting inside. It's got a lot of spring pressure, and it's keeping that valve closed until, pow, I open it up. I don't know if you can see in there, maybe up there. You can see that valve open and close. So that's how my actuation works. Now, I have to have a pretty big diameter diaphragm here to create enough force, you know, once that vacuum starts pulling on it to lift that valve, but I need enough spring to hold it closed. So between the two, I got a lot of tension and compression and things going on. So unfortunately, what ends up happening is it's a really simple system, but it's just that. It's simple and it can't respond very fast, so it tends to be a little bit slow. So what we're going to do is upgrade. So the upgrade is pretty cool. This is from Synapse Engineering. This is their synchronic diverter valve, recirculation valve, however you want to call it. But what's cool about it is it's completely different technology. Now to start off, it's got different adapters. So this is a hose adapter. I can put it on both ends and I can put it right in this system. So let's look inside of this thing. Now it's pretty cool because it's, you know, anodized and it's blue and you can get different colors and you can trick it out. But what's neat about it is inside of here, there's no diaphragm. What they've done is come up with a very clever system of different ports, and those ports are machined in here, and they act on different diameters, so different you know, areas and different forces. So depending on how you plumb these ports, you can make this valve act faster or slower a lot on how you drive. Do you lift throttle real quick when you shift, or do you kind of let off the throttle a little bit slower so you can tune that part? Well, the other cool thing is the spring pressure is pretty soft. So by the way they've kind of poured it and put pressures in places on both sides, they can make this actuate. So it's a really great way to get the drivability out of your boost system.